A peaceful, productive, and prosperous Jamaica is predicated upon the quality of our education system. The government is currently implementing the recommendations of the Jamaica Education Transformation Commission, the JETC, recognizing that this will be a multi-year wide-ranging transformation exercise which should enable the success of every learner. The provision of greater access to suitable public beach facilities to all Jamaicans remains a priority. Eight beaches are at various stages of the design and approval under the ongoing National Beach Development Program. <laughs> Among those beaches proposed for enhancement in 2024-25 are Prairie Bathing and Fishing Beach in St. Anne and Paji Beach in St. Mary. The government is investing $2.6 billion in key irrigation projects that are expected to result in over 2,433 hectares of additional irrigated lands for production. During the financial year 2024-2025, the key legislative priority will be the amendments to the Companies Act. The draft bill is being finalized. The amendments are expected to strengthen the efficiency and operation of companies in Jamaica to create an enabling environment for business. Efforts to secure private sector interest in renewable energy generation took a significant step forward with the generation production entity inviting tenders for the supply of up to 100 megawatts of electricity generation capacity for the national grid. Another request for a proposal for a further 168 megawatts will be launched later in 20. 24-2025 financial year. Increased focus will be placed on improved quality of service by telecommunication operators. The telecommunications quality of service standards rules, which establish the formal framework for the parameters and targets against which operators' performance is measured, will be published. In the new financial year, the Public Passenger Transport Stakeholder Committee will begin to address the provision of transportation for students. A rural student transportation system will be introduced that will provide a more affordable alternative for the students in rural Jamaica who do not now benefit from the transportation subsidies that, they have, that is available in the KMTR through the JUTC. In June 2024, the government will host the 10th Biennial Jamaica Diaspora Conference, the first fully in-person staging of the conference since the pandemic. The Sexual Harassment Tribunal will be operationalized during the financial year 2024-2025 to address sexual harassment complaints. Also, the third national center will be renovated to support victims of gender-based violence. The government is also investing in the Jamaica Fire Brigade. Two ladder units will be procured to fight fires in high-rise buildings. A new fire station will be constructed at Ulster Spring in Trelawney. The, the Jamaica Fire Brigade will also engage two batches of recruits 
for training, totaling 220 new firefighters. The program of advancement through health and education, PATH, is the most critical arm of the government's social protection program, and we are moving to make it more accessible and responsive. In that regard, stakeholder engagement has commenced as the first step in the overall of the program. In conclusion, honorable members, as we reflect on the progress made in fiscal year 2023-2024 and look ahead to the plans for fiscal year 2024-2025, it is evident that our national vision of economic independence is not just a distant dream, but now well within our reach. <laughs>